When the brain is deprived from oxygen in the setting of a stroke, hypothermia, which means cooling, can be applied in two different ways. Uh, on the one hand, it could be used to try to protect brain cells until such time that blood flow can be restored. On the other hand, it can be used to uh, control or treat a side effect of stroke, which is swelling of the brain. Hypothermia or cooling has been tested in several different clinical settings. One setting has been cardiac arrest where there's a lack of oxygen to the entire brain all at once because the, the heart isn't working. Um, in two uh, landmark trials in 2002, it was noted that patients that did get cooled had significantly better neurological outcomes following the cardiac arrest compared with patients that didn't get cooled. There is um, a current trial um, looking at combining a clot-busting medicine called TPA with um, cooling to see whether cooling can extend the time window by which TPA can be used safely. The preliminary results are that uh, this seems to be a safe and feasible combination, and we are still awaiting uh, uh, final efficacy results of this trial. I think the future of hypothermia and stroke is twofold. Doctors are currently working on combining cooling with endovascular procedures, procedures that are done inside the artery that's blocked. So while the doctors are trying to restore blood flow um, to a major blocked artery of the brain, simultaneously they're applying hypothermia and cooling the brain. The second major application is in controlling brain swelling and preventing patients from dying from swelling of the brain. It was noticed um, in animals and in some human studies that um, when patients were cooled, it seemed that the swelling was under control. When they were passively rewarmed, um, swelling occurred very rapidly. So we began to realize very early on that we have to be very careful with hypothermia because uh, if we rewarm patients too rapidly, massive swelling could occur. And at the same time, that made us realize that uh, hypothermia can actually become a potential treatment for uh, swelling of the brain. Hypothermia is a technique that's still being investigated for the purposes of protecting brain in the setting of a blocked artery and uh, in the setting of controlling brain swelling. It's not something that's um, readily done uh, clinically on patients that are being treated right now today, but it's something that is available in the setting of clinical trials, a lot of which uh, we, will, we are planning to, uh, to be uh, doing at uh, UPMC. Thank you.